Hello, this is Dr. Chong Wan Kim from BGN Jamshil Lotte Tower Eye Clinic. BGN Jamshil Lotte Tower Eye Clinic is located in Lotte World Tower, which is a landmark of Seoul, the capital city of South Korea. I'm specialized in multifocal cataract surgery, and I am the first user of the Femtis M Plus in the world. The Femtis M Plus is a multifocal intraocular lens for press biopia correction during cataract surgery. I want to share my experience on multifocal cataract surgery and my clinical experience about the Femtis M Plus. Multifocal cataract surgery is also known as press biopia correction cataract surgery. It is a surgery that involves removing patient's crystalline lens and implanting a multifocal intraocular lens. Typically, patients who have cataract surgery with monofocal lens implant need glasses for reading, whereas implanting multifocal intraocular lens reduces the need for reading glasses because it minimizes press biopia symptoms. Extensive preoperative consultation is necessary to find the right intraocular lens that meets each patient's needs. Each individual needs a personalized approach because the preoperative eye condition is different for each patient. Other pre-existing eye conditions besides cataract and presbyopia also need to be taken into consideration when selecting the proper intraocular lens. At present, for 99% of my cataract surgeries, I implant multifocal intraocular lens. I do explain the symptoms to the patients before surgery to minimize the discomfort that inevitably follows postoperatively due to the optical principles of the multifocal intraocular lens. Dry eyes are one of the common side effects. However, the most common complication following multifocal intraocular lens implantations are optical symptoms such as halos and glares and refractive error. In multifocal cataract surgery, the visual quality is better and the independence from glasses is greater when the post-operative refractive error is minor. Therefore, we put a lot of effort to achieve the most accurate post-operative results. In order to do that, we first perform a thorough pre-operative examination. In addition, during the surgery, positioning the implanted intraocular lens into the capsule bag so that it stays secure as long as possible is crucial. We call it effective lens position. However, Various factors contribute to a change of position of the intraocular lens postoperatively. It may depend on the material, size, design of the intraocular lens, the type or solidity of the capsular waxes of the capsular bag. The intraocular lens may change its position as time passes depending on the capsular bag contraction and fibrosis, and there are cases where it gets pushed back and the patient becomes hyperopic. To prevent this, I insert a capsular tension ring inside the capsule bag before implanting the intraocular lens during every cutout procedure. However, despite these measures, the position of the intraocular lens cannot be 100% fixed. As the contraction of the capsule bag intensifies and shifts the intraocular lens eventually, it decenters or tilts. The FEMTIS is an intraocular lens specifically designed to prevent such displacement postoperatively. It is designed to be fixated in the capsular waxes during the procedure. The capsular waxes is the opening of the capsular bag to access and remove the cataract lens. To proceed with this method, a uniform size and the perfectly circular shaped capsular waxes is required. This is done through another great new technology called Femtis Second Laser. The Femtis intraocular lens fits perfectly into the capsule waxes and it makes sure to create a stable, long-lasting, secured intraocular lens position. The use of Femtis Second Laser had a major impact on the development of the Femtis intraocular lens. 
Therefore, they are collectively known as Femtis Laser Intraocular Lens. According to several studies, the intraocular lens used after the cataract surgery, tilted by 3 to 4 degrees, decentered by 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 mm, and rotated by 3 to 5 degrees on average. However, Femtis intraocular lens tilted less than 1 degree, while the decentration was less than 0 0.1 mm from the center over a period of 12 months post-operative follow-ups according to the American Journal of Ophthalmology, published by Dr. Alfarth from Germany's Heidelberg University Hospital in 2020. This multicenter study was conducted in seven hospitals in Germany, the UK, and Spain. Furthermore, the stability was excellent as the distance between the optical part of the intraocular lens and the iris was uniform over 360 degrees. Therefore, the long-term visual outcomes were evidenced. As such, we expect superior long-term stability compared to other intraocular lenses thanks to the design of the Femtis intraocular lens platform and technology. Various types of dysphytopsia occur from the different design due to the optical principle of the multifocal intraocular lens. Among the types of multifocal intraocular lens, the so-called diffractive multifocal intraocular lens types are used in cataract surgery today. Diffraction has advantages in terms of focus distribution and is widely used. But the rate of dysphotopsia, such as halo and glare, are high. These symptoms can be severe if the center of the intraocular lens shifts from its position. Incidentally, so-called asymmetric refractive multifocal intraocular lens types do not use diffraction for light distribution, and they have an asymmetric shape with a presbyopia corrective section at the bottom of the lens, which occasionally causes glare in form of angel wings. However, halos do not develop. The Femtis laser intraocular lens has a refractive optical principle and the fixation of the intraocular lens into the capsule rexis can reduce the dysphotopsia symptoms. As mentioned before, when placing the intraocular lens into the capsule bag instead of the capsule rexis, some patients experience some uncomfortable dysphotopsia as the transitional zone of the intraocular lens is displaced towards the visual axis. However, with the Femtis intraocular lens fixated into the capsule rexis, those displacements can be avoided as the Femtis laser intraocular lens is aligned with the optical axis of the eye. It is widely known that multifocal intraocular lenses with refractive optics have a high tolerance, hence the results after cataract surgery are good even for patients with mild ophthalmic disease and irregular cornea shape. I expect Femtis M Plus to bring positive results in the future of cataract surgery to correct presbyopia due to its ability to minimize dysphotopsia, which is known as the most common side effect of multifocal intraocular lenses implantation. The number of cataract surgeries in Korea is increasing statistically every year, with nowadays over 700,000 surgeries a year. The number has doubled compared to 10 years ago. What's unusual about this is that the average age of cataract patients is decreasing. In contrast to life expectancy increasing due to advanced medical progress, the age group undergoing cataract surgery is getting younger. Thus, it is of great importance to have a long-term stability of the intraocular lens implantation. I was the first Femtis M Plus user in the world in July 2021. We had satisfying clinical results with fewer dysphotopsia and better vision than the existing intraocular lenses after surgery, 
despite short follow up periods. However, there are some limitations to Femtis laser intercalar lens because you need to have a device which can perform an auto continuous curvilinear capsular axis, for example, a femtosecond laser. And there can be some technical difficulties when placing the Femtis intercular lens into the capsule axis. Nevertheless, after a few implantations and practice, it gets easier to use. Unfortunately, the current available diopter range of Femtis M Plus is limited, and I am anticipating it to be extended. And I'm looking forward to using the Femtis M Plus Toric soon in my clinic. In conclusion, a positive effect can be seen in multifocal cataract surgery if the pre-operative measurement is based on an accurate examination and the patient's desired visual outcomes are comprehensively considered. Nowadays, the long-term stability of visual outcomes after cataract surgery is one of the main objectives to be achieved, and I think Femtis laser intraocular lens is the most suitable intraocular lens for modern cataract surgery. Thank you.